Is there a sound? There we go. All right. So, this is Planetary Annihilation Titans. And this is kind of, like I was saying before we started this part, but for those of you watching this recorded, this is kind of my cheat. And to understand why, it has to do with what happened with Planetary Annihilation. When the game was originally pitched, it was supposed to be the next grand macro styled RTS game from Uber Entertainment. And it was one of the best Kickstarter successes for its time. This was the second one following Double Fine to basically just blow up in terms of success. They literally hit every one of their goals, or every one of their stretch goals. I mean, they ran out of things to offer people. And the game was in development for a few years. And the plan again was to turn this into this massive RTS game, you know, the next big game to rival Supreme Commander, Total Annihilation, the like. They even hired the modder, Soren, who originally remade the AI for Supreme Commander 2, turning it into one of the best uh, AIs, again, in a real-time strategy game I've ever seen. So everything was set to be good, but then the problems happened. First, it was put on early access, I think in 20... Oh, jeez, I don't even remember the times anymore. But when it was pulling early access, it was priced at $80 for an early access game. And the developers are trying to get more money, but trying to price at the same level as people who were buying it from the Kickstarter. And a lot of people didn't like that. Then there was the idea of selling additional Titans. And just, it seemed like things were not going as planned. And... What happened was, when the game was released in... Oh, I only remember when it was actually released there. I think it was 2014, 2015. It, w it was just basically designed for the hardcore players. But it had none of the additional features in it. It was missing the what was called the unit can which was a structure that lets you shoot units to other planets the single player campaign did not have save functionality you had or i'm sorry it didn't have offline mode you had to play the game online to save it there was technical issues the game is a beast when it comes to performance requirements and they were selling these additional commanders which, as you can see, I own quite a bit of them, and here's more. A lot of these were designed for part of the Kickstarter. There's also a special one for a tournament as well. And what happened was, the game was just ripped apart in terms of reviews. And so much so that when Uber Entertainment went back to Kickstarter for the game, uh... What was it? Office Complex? Office? It was some kind of like grand... It was another macro style RTS, but it was basically robots versus aliens. And it failed. I mean, it didn't even... I think they had to cancel the Kickstarter due to low value, and Uber Entertainment has kind of disappeared from the public eye since. I have a few friends who are still adamant fans of Planetary Annihilation, including making mods to improve the game and grow things from there. But in terms of this being the big success of Kickstarter, it just didn't happen. Whew. But with that all said, I think I just gave you a little story. Here's the opening scene again. And there are some very impressive aspects of this game. This is really one of the most macro-oriented RTS games I have ever seen. I mean, you are literally battling in galaxies. And that right there definitely deserves a round of applause. But the problem was that the developers kind of 
just focused on the esports crowd or the competitive level play without any affordances or accessibility options for brand new players. And for the people who play this competitively, they love this. Like I said, I have some friends who are just complete and utter fans of this game, but it was just too much investment for me to get into, and the fact that it was kind of killing my computer at the time also kind of hurt things as well. And we will not be trying this multiplayer, I can tell you that much right now. No, we're good. <laughs> That's true, El Gordo. This is a Saturday Night Grab Back slash Dissecting Design all at once. So the Galactic War was supposed to be the, the single player component with a persistent campaign. And it had some decent ideas, but it just, again, without save functionality and a lot of the game just not feeling up to par, Pla Planetary Annihilation just failed. So the reason why I'm playing Titans is that this was originally supposed to be the expansion to the game, and instead it kind of became the, um, uh, the do-over version, or the uh, remake, similar to what happened with Skyshine's Bedlam, or Halcyon 6 Lightspeed Edition, that this kind of became the real version of the game. And your commander here, this is just aesthetic purposes. This will not affect anything for real. Oh yeah, if we make an uber-sized galaxy, I think my computer will blow up. And you can get attacks. Oh. So the idea is we can go to different areas and we'll unlock text that will expand our roster. And as, as I was saying, so this is supposed to be, and this was given to anyone who backed Planetary Annihilation for free, basically as a, uh, a courtesy or a uh, apology for how many people had problems with the original game. And I have not played this at all, so I have no idea how it's going to look or pretty much how I'm going to play other than for my initial play of this, of the original one. But yeah, I have not heard anything from Uber Entertainment since this game, since Titans was released and their other one failed. Here's hoping things actually load. Because, so, I mean, this was a beast. I think it required, or it had a recommended uh, requirements or technical requirements of, like, 12 uh, uh, gigs of RAM or something like that. And, of course, an SS uh, Solid State hard drive would have been really helpful as well. Wait, I think it's trying to load. 
And for the sake of this not turning into like this massive thing, we'll try and play through like one match if things decide not to blow up on me. And that will do it for this game. Maybe at some point in the future if I have the money to upgrade my computer, we can come back to it. But I'm sure streaming this as well is not helping matters. Something tells me I should have done my story <laughs> before we started loading. Yeah, this had some ridiculous requirements. Uh-oh. <laughs> we may not even get that far. Come on, game. Don't crash on me. <laughs> That's an interesting question, Alberto. Is this the Daikonda, Daikatana of real-time strategies? I don't think so, because again, there is good design here. But it's only good design aimed at one very specific group of people. And now all RTSs have some insane requirements. And this is a game where there is no logical up. Because of the fact that we're on a 360 degree planet. So I'm going to start right here. Now if you've played Supreme Commander or uh, Tone Annihilation, the gameplay is very similar. And as you can see, the UI is not doing any favors as well. Hmm, interesting. So we can literally if this was a larger galaxy, we could or a larger system, we could have battles on multiple planets, ranging in size, shape, and what units we can build. And again, for scope, there really isn't anything else like it. Oopsie. We need a constant supply of power and metal in order to produce our structures. Okay. And we can set automatic construction. Which I'm trying to remember what the key was for it. But as you can see, this is not a really functional UI if you don't know what you're doing. And the first game was even worse. But yeah, you have to really get used to constantly zooming in and out. Remember, 
There's a way to set up to just auto build. Also help things construct. So we're looking for our enemy here. And you're gonna build a whole lot of units in this game. Oh, Alright. If you insist. Don't know why that was up. So we want to find our enemy here. Oh yeah, I was hearing about that Neogath debacle, but I don't know what it was. I had a chance to really look into it. I also heard the escapist is having trouble too. Alright, they're building up. Alright, so we found the enemy. If your commander dies, it is game over. Alright, so we know his base is over there, so let's head there and try and take him out. as I got family going to sleep, so we'll try and finish this up on the quick end. Go army, go. Some more forward bases, too. <laughs> mm -mm. Go, team, go. Defenses are really powerful as well. And in some cases, we start on completely different planets, and then becomes a planetary invasion to try and take them out. The game is also, as you can tell, it's kind of generic in terms of its design. It 
doesn't have that same pop as StarCraft. Now, as you can see, we are running out of power. something about that, won't we? <laughs> Once a turn is done, we'll move into the base. Hmm. You can see we have picture in picture as well just insane the amount of stuff they want you to keep track of. Uh -oh. are really powerful until you get siege tech. Join in. <laughs> Alright, that should be able to kill them. And the commanders don't have anything unique to them, just their style. procedurally creates these planets as well, which is very impressive. System capture. Now what? Exploring system. So this lets you get another bonus here. Of course, you pick another one, you're just trying to go to each galaxy and take over. And yeah, it's getting a little bit late, so uh, let's do one more really fast to show off air units and then we'll call it. Because I have family sitting in the other room, I'm going to get a little bit more quiet for this one. I'm not sure if I'll up 
upload this part to YouTube or not, just because of how long these loads are and how much it's going to take to edit. <laughs> just imagine we're doing a large map, too. still working on this either. <laughs> Either you're a bit late, we're going to be wrapping up in like the next minute or so, or well, probably the next five minutes. See if we can spot the enemy. Once we found the enemy, I can harass him with air. <laughs> and yeah, there's definitely a lot to this game. I just wish it was a little bit more accommodating to new players. Oh yeah, we can build a 
this sound like too. <laughs> no, he's not over there. Come on. Where is this guy? Planetary defibrillation. <laughs> well, you don't know where he is. Put some more radar. around somewhere. <laughs> there you are. Alright, that's my cue. Send the land forces and then the air. And eventually you get sea tunes, which can just like death from above kind of thing. <laughs> this is crazy, right? he has the tools to attack, I have free reign to spot him. He can even do air bombardment too. I see you. festivities.
there's epic music too for everyone. <laughs> I can see you. Just keep building more units, right? of armies in this game too. It's also very hard to see where things are, too. This thing almost done yet? I think not. 
get defenses like satellites. <laughs> I should actually scope out, see if he's moved. It is getting late, so we're going to wrap up the grab back for this evening, but we'll try and get all the parts uploaded over the next few days. So, that said, thank you so much for watching our grab back this evening. Voting begins Sunday afternoon, with Patreon VIPs getting final say at the end, or after Wednesday. So be sure to check things out. Have a great rest of the night, folks, and I'll see you all for our next stream. Till then, have a good night.